Well, good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning, and this is Laura and Quaker's morning routine right here. Look at this dog. She started this. She started this. What is wrong with you, you stinking dog? Turn sideways so I can see him. Quaker, what are you doing, boy? What are you doing? Hmm? Is this your morning lovin's? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> I'll lick your face off too. Hold on. I ain't there yet. Hold on. Okay. Licky, licky, licky. Get down. <laughs> anyway, it's Sunday morning, and you guys know how I feel about Sunday. Get down, Quaker. Um, it's going to be a good day today. Yep. Today we are talking about the story of Joseph. Hey, what are you doing? You got a bomb pop? Who gets a bomb pop for breakfast on a Sunday morning? Is it good? Yeah, I'm glad it's good. Um, so get down. So uh, today we're talking about the story of Joseph. My wife is doing laundry. You do. I need, I need potty pants. You need what? Potty pants. Oh, I thought you were talking about yourself. I was like, golly, Lord, wow. Didn't know it was that severe. <laughs> um, sorry, I made my fridge get me some sea cream. Uh, so yeah, so we're talking about Joseph today and the idea of how convenient it would be if we were in power and wrecked revenge on those that have wronged us. Joseph, of all people in the Bible, had every right to send his brothers to a very um, painful ending. Uh, after what they did to him. However, he actually used and realized that his situation, as bleak as it was, wasn't really necessarily for him as it was to save the entire world from famine. And so we're going to be talking about that today. I'm excited about this opportunity to teach our students. I'm always excited about the opportunity to teach our students. So if you would like to tune in, or by the time you see this, it's going to probably be Tuesday. But go ahead and go to Chestnut Hill Baptist Church Student Ministry and click on the link there, and it will pull up our video for Sunday, um, Sunday morning. Okay. You're being paged. You're like, what else is new? No. And it was like, Aah! you sound like some kind of bomb siren going off. Hi guys, we made it back from church and I'm about to cook some spaghetti. So I have learned there is a secret to making sure that you are not cooking too much spaghetti. And I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know if it's gonna actually work today, but I wanted to show you what I've learned when it comes to making the spaghetti. So, we'll see. Let me show you this.
Asher, what are you doing to the cat? Asher, Asher, what are you doing to the cat? What are you doing? Smelling his hair. What? Smelling his nose. Quaker, what do you want? Ew. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You better get down. You better get down. Get down. Go on. Go. 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 You all too much. I'll tell you what. You all too much. Too much.